Yo guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be tracking the untrackable. And what I mean by this is tracking in situations where the 3D camera tracker just doesn't work. So let's try the 3D camera tracker and see what it does in this situation. So just go over here to track camera, click here, and it will start analyzing. Okay, so it says it's worked, it hasn't failed but I do not see any good track points. Okay, so it's given us track points here. For example, let's create a text and a camera. So firstly, I can't even see the text. Let's scale this shit up. So it's placed some text in here for us, but oh my God, that is not what we want. It's not really gonna work. Like maybe, that last bit is all right, but this is all crazy. So cool. Delete all of this, delete the 3D camera tracker. So what effect you want to put on is Mocha. So go into your effects and presets, type in Mocha. Drag this on here. So once you've got that on your layer, just click to open the interface. And we can just go through and just decide what we want to track. So for this, I'm going to track her face. So you can go over here to create new magnetic layer and just start tracing around her head. There we go. So I've done it on the last frame. I'm going to track backwards just because there was a shake at the start of the layer. And I feel like that would mess it up a little bit. So you can see here it's tracking her face quite cleanly. on the shape is kind of gone off track. So hit control S just to save that in place and go back into your composition. So right click and you want to create a new null. Uh, just trim this to the length of your layer, just like that. Now click the layer where we put the mocha and go into tracking data. Click create tracking data. And you just want to select the layer that we just done. So layer one, now go into export options and change this to transform and layer export to the null that we just created. So if we click apply export, you can see now that this null is tracked onto her face. So now let's make our text. So she's saying, damn, she in her mood. That's right, damn. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually animate this text as well so it's not so boring so let me change this font something bold yeah something like that so don't worry about the positioning of this at the moment we're just going to work on animating it so we're just going to trim these layers just so that they're the same length as the original layer so we've got damn let's duplicate this and write she she Move this over here. So we've got damn she, and I'm going to write in her mood in a different font. In her mood. So damn she in her mood. I'm going to use a font called Organic Brand. I don't know, I just like the look of this one. So we've got damn she in her mood. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So cool, that's that's pretty cool, but we want to animate stuff in. So let me show you how to do that. So let's start with damn. So the anchor point is over here, but we want it to be in the center for this effect. So just grab this tool here and just drag this into the center and then just go back over here and click your selection tool. So we've got damn. So we're going to make this one scaling. So hit S on the keyboard. And we're going to go a couple frames in and set a keyframe on 100, go a few back and go zero. So we've got this animation, damn. And then we've got she. So let's do position for this one. So we'll go a few frames ahead and select the position, go a few frames back and we'll make it go from here. So we've got damn, she, 
in her mood. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to play with the opacity of this layer. So hit T on the keyboard and create a keyframe. Then just press U again, just to bring up all your keyframes. So we can see, let's go to the last keyframe and set this on 100 opacity. And the first keyframe, let's put this on zero. So that way we've got it fading in. And then for in her mood, we're going to use an effect called typewriter. So go into your effects and just type in typewriter. And then press U on the keyboard again to bring up the keyframe. So you can see there's one here and there's one all the way back here. So let's bring this one forward. And now it's typing out. So we've got, damn, is she in her mood? So cool. Once we've done all of those, you can just add like a, like a shadow. So add drop shadow one. Change the distance, maybe change the opacity, the softness. Yeah, that's cool. And then we can just copy and paste that onto the other layers. So now we have our text animation, it's time to track it. So what we're gonna do, select all your text layers and just pre-compose. That way you can track them all at once. So now that we have our pre-composition, Go into this pick whip here of your text layer and just attach it to the null. So now if you play this, you can see it's moving perfectly with her face. But let's just reposition this, make it look a little better. So maybe want it like there. That's pretty cool. So what we can do just to sell the effect a bit more is add some motion blur. So just go back into this text pre-comp, select all your layers and just click here to switch on motion blur. So now we have some motion blur on the dam and the she. So that's how you track the untrackable and your text animation. And if you want to add a little extra source into it, you can select all three of these layers, so the text, the null, and your layer. Pre-compose these, move all attributes into the new composition. And you could add blur mode curves or transform. So I'm going to use blur mode curves to like zoom into the text as it's appearing. So keyframe, so keyframe the Z position, press U on the keyboard to bring up your keyframes and then you could scale it in a little bit, drag this to maybe here. So now we have, and then we could copy and paste this keyframe. So it holds for two, three frames, and then put it back to normal. Now we have Now, if you select, oops. So now if you select all your keyframes and press F9 and click here, you can go into the graph editor and you can change the speed. So we could make it zoom in really fast. And then we could make it zoom out quite fast. So let's see what that looks like. So yeah, that's it guys. If you want to see some more tutorials, leave some comments, leave some likes, subscribe. And yeah, I'll be back in a couple of days with something new for you guys. Love.